Welcome to Maze Leco Challenge. Today's problem is online stock span. Write a class stock spanner which collects daily price quotes for some stock and returns the span of that stock's price for the current day. So a span is the stock's price today and the maximum number of consecutive days starting from today going backwards for which the price of the stock was less than or equal to today's price. So basically how many consecutive days for this price has the price risen or stayed the same. For example, we've been given this list like that. For the first three indexes or prices, the numbers are gonna be one, right? Because 100, it's only been this uh, greater than the previous days, obviously, because it's the first one. For 80, since the previous day is greater, it's only been uh, greater or, or equal to for one day, same with 60, but 70, we see that it's risen from the previous day. So that would be a span of two. 60 would also be one. 75 would be a span of four because we can see that it's risen for a span of four days. And 85 would be a span of six. All right, so how do we solve this? Well, well, intuitively, you could say whenever we get a new price, simply start from the end of the list and check how many days this price has been less than or equal to and just count those up. And as soon as the day is greater, we just return that number. And that totally works, but it's inefficient. Can we do better than that? Is there a data structure that we can take advantage of to make this quicker? And there definitely is. There's something called a stack that we can take advantage of. So say that we had a list like this, like the given us, um, and we're going to initialize a stack, right? So when we move through these prices, let's say I'm going to write price here and I'm going to say the number that's greater than, let's say this is empty. So we've been given a price of 100. Now we'll initialize a number one at first and store, check to see if it's greater than the previous days. There's no days. So we just return one and also append to this stack here, uh, the price and the number of consecutive days to span basically into this into the stack. What about 80? So we have 80, we initialize our num at one and we can see immediately, well, uh, uh, the previous day 100 is greater. So we just return num of one, right? And we'll just add that to our stack. Uh, and I'll show you why we need to record the span as we move forward. Same thing with 60 as we move forward. Yep. All right, but what about 70? Like say we got 70 here and we're gonna check the end and see if the price is less. And the price is less, right? So what we'll do is actually pop that off our stack and increase our number of span. Uh, I should probably call this span here and say that's two. What about 80? Well, 80 is greater. So now we'll just append this to our stack and it'll be 72 uh, like this and return our number and which will be a span of two. So you might ask, well, why are we storing the span here? Well, think about it. Let's say we got another price like 75. Well, since we've already popped off the ones that 70 was greater than, we have to remember what the span is to return the proper span for this price here. So for 75, well, we know that since 75 is greater than 70, uh, that means 75 would have been greater than all the numbers previous to it in its span. So that's basically the shortcut we're taking by creating the stack here. We can say, all right, we have 75, 75 is greater than um, uh, 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 70. So our span is gonna be one plus two, that's gonna be three. And now we'll just pop that off and say 75, uh, since 75 is not greater than 80, we'll pop that, uh, we'll just append this price and the span and return span of three. So in that case, this would have been correct. I, I didn't add the 60 just to illustrate that for now, but uh, hopefully you kind of see what this is doing. So let's first start by initializing a stack, right? And we just create it like this. So what do we do? Well, basically while there is something in this stack, we're going to um, add the numbers to, to the span until the leftmost point is greater until this this consecutive days of increase has ended. So 
let me just type that out. It'll be like, okay, so while there's a stack, what are we going to do? We're going to say, well, if self.stack, the last point, and um, I'm going to actually have to say zero here, and I'll, I'll show you why later. Um, if that's greater than the price, well, then we'll just add to our stack. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a tuple. We're going to say create a price and the tuple of the price and the span here. And I should mention before we even begin this, we want to initialize our span of one because it will always be at least one. So otherwise, if, if this happens, then we just append that and we'll just return our span. Else, what are we going to do? Well, first let's pop off pop off this previous one. And this is a stack, right? So it's going to be a last in, first out sort of thing. So if I said uh, prev price and I just pop off whatever's there, that's going to give me the tuple of the price and the span. And we know that this price, since it's past this, is either equal to or, um, yeah, this price is equal to or less than the current price that we've been given. So. Uh, we'll just pop that off like this. And now um, we'll add to our span the previous, uh, the second item inside this tuple, which would be the span. And we just continue on. So we'll just continue on until we, we end up with nothing. If that happens, then, well, then we'll add to our... Um, Oops, to our stack again, and we'll just return whatever is our span at that moment. Okay, so uh, I actually think you can just break here, uh, and that would be fine. But let me just make sure I didn't forget anything. And it looks like our test kicks worked. One, one, yep. So let's try to submit that. And great, got accepted. Uh, so. Basically, the approach is the same, right? We're just moving backwards to see how many consecutive days this has um, been greater than four. But it's better to use a stack because for this problem, all we care about is the number of consecutive days. And we can create this shortcut by stacking it and storing both the price and the span. All right, so hopefully that was intuitive. Um, thank you.